everything that you need for a successful ClickBank campaign. Let's get to it. Hi guys and girls, welcome to today's video where we're gonna be talking about everything that you need for a successful ClickBank campaign. We're gonna be going through all of the different um, sections, um, the tools that you need, the elements, why you need them, mistakes that people make, all those good things that's really important to know so that you get those successful campaigns. And at the end of the video, we're gonna be talking about how you can kickstart it, you can supercharge it really, really, really quick uh, with no additional effort or investments. So that's gonna be worth sticking around to the end of the video. So um, as I always say, we've got a couple of rules here on the channel, okay? If you get anything out of this video, hit the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me, okay? And if you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button, flick on that notification bell, because then you can see more videos from me as they drop uh, each and every week. And we always ask a question. And again, what we're gonna be asking you today is, where are you watching us from? What part of the world are you from? I'm, I'm always intrigued by this question. I, would, I like to see uh, where the viewers are, what part of the world, what cities, what countries. You know, it's so exciting to know that people are viewing in from all around the world. So um, pause the video, jump down to the comment section and just say where you're tuning in from. And, you know, follow up with any other questions as well. Uh, why not? Okay, so it's really good to hear from you. So let's crack on and let's talk about today's content, which is all about ClickBank and getting successful campaigns. So what do we know about ClickBank? First of all, we know that it's one of the biggest affiliate marketing platforms. It's super easy to join. So it is absolutely brilliant for newbies and experts alike. Anyone can get involved. Pretty much most of the uh, products that are on ClickBank you can get approved. We don't even need approval. Once you're logged in, you are able to generate your own affiliate links to promote these products, which is really, really handy because lots of affiliate networks, that is not the case. That is not the case. Or if you want to promote a specific product that has their own affiliate campaign, you will need to go through quite a few hoops to be in order to promote this. ClickBank, the vast majority, once you're in, you can promote. Okay, you get fantastic commissions, upwards and onwards of 50% most of the time. And there are a hell of a lot of our products that have built-in recurring um, elements to the offer. So you make that one sale and you can get commissions next month and you know perpetually making an income. So that is why it's such a phenomenal marketplace. But a lot of people go wrong and they do a lot of things that don't quite work or they just don't quite know what to do. So let's talk about the elements of creating you know, your campaign and the things that you actually need. And let's talk about it. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some form of website, okay? Now this is really, really important. So this can be, this can be, this can be so many different things but if we talk about it from the one perspective, and that is that it is some kind of squeeze uh, page, an email capture page, okay? Now this works really well for a number of reasons, okay? You have the opportunity to offer some kind of lead magnet, some kind of giveaway, some kind of piece of content. You know, there's millions. We've spoken about in the channel, and I'm gonna be creating another video um, next week talking about different types of lead magnets that work really, really well, okay? But it gives you the opportunity to provide these. And why does this work really, really well? It gives you the it gives you the ability to screen these people because you know that, um, you know, there's millions and millions of people out there. Doesn't mean that they're gonna want this offer. Just because you put it in front of X amount of people, doesn't mean that there's gonna be a specific buyer for that product. By providing a lead magnet, you know, a piece of content, you know, that people want, you're able to, you know, make sure that that piece of content is congruent with the offer. So if they like the lead magnet you're providing, there's a high potential that they will like the offer. Okay, so can you see that that you know that continuation? 
you know. So you're screening, you're, you're getting all these people and then you're screening them out. Because, yep, yeah, you'll get them onto your list or whatever, um, or you'll just get them through, you know, the first step. And people will fall away. That's always the case. But you have the ability to get them through to the next stage, okay? And, you know, as we know, there is so many ways of creating landing pages. There's so many ways of making, you know, really good ones. There's so many products that create done-for-you ones specific to products. Or, or you can you get involved with some of the funnel builders or page builders and create your own you know there's so many and generally it's really really easy to do okay so that's really really important really really important now keeping with that and moving on to the next section is it's really really important to um capture the email address on that first page okay because then that gives you the ability to market to them at a later date a later date okay and because it might be the fact is that you've got them you've got all these people through you funneled them through you filtered out the people that are interested but then they might not be interested right away you know so there's all types of metrics and statistics that three people throw up about people needing to see certain things before they make a buy i don't necessarily agree with those things but but what i do agree with is that the first time that you see something, it's not always love at first sight, is it? Sometimes you see something, you go ahead, you know, you go and have a drink, you have a cup of coffee or whatever, you go for a walk, whatever, and you're like, do you know what? I am actually interested in it. What was that? I've forgotten about it. But if you've got that email, you're able to then, you know, continue to continue the conversation and tell these people um, what it was that you were uh, providing okay, so you've got that second bite of the cherry, as I always say. I always use that, f I always use that phrase, I don't know why, but second bite of the cherry to um, to pr pr promote that product, okay. Okay, so that's so crucially important, okay. And obviously, because of that, you need to have an autoresponder. There's no two ways about it. I always use Aweber because it's just easy, it's just so super, super easy, right? So once they're in, once they've gone through that capture, you've got the ability to do a number of things. The first thing is send, send them an email straight away. Bang, you've sent them an email. And what have they got? They've got the uh, the lead magnet that you provide that free piece of information. Now, on that email, you're also going to tell them, you know, tomorrow there's another email coming or check this out. Or within the actual lead magnet itself, you're going to have links to, to your offers or whatever. There's so many ways of you know, you know, sticking these links in people's faces to say, you know what, you know, this is just tickling you, you know, this lead magnet, but you know, this is going to satisfy you, so to speak, right? So um, that's really, really important. And then it goes into like step three is the continuation. The continuation of that conversation is sending those, continue sending those those emails to continue that conversation. And you can set these up. You, on day one, you can set up 25 emails and they'll all be sent every single day at a certain time or a time when, you know, that's congruent with their uh, their daytime, you know, depending on what part of the world they're from. And they'll get these things every single day and you can set them up in different sequences. So it can all be, it can all be about trying to get the, con the conversion of the initial product. So you can provide content, 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 and then promote, or you can just promote different products. It's all about that, but it's continuing the conversation. It's continuing to build um, that that problem and solving that problem, okay? So the next thing, which is really, really important, and then this is something that people do not do, and they kind of, as another phrase, they leave money on the table. They leave money on the table. So what did we just say about, we spoke about emails and we said that, um, you know, without without um, building that list and sending those and having that ability to send the emails, that conversation ended from the first point of call. You know, you promoted the product, they weren't interested, they've gone. And then they realized they wanted something, they don't know who you are, whatever. So you were able to email them. So the next step here is, is all that retargeting, okay? Now, whether you intend to do uh, paid advertising or not, my recommendation is always, and I mean, always have some form of retargeting on any website that you own, any website you own, right? Because then in the future, you may change your mind. 
you may have a section of money put aside. You might think, you know what? I, actually, I do want to spend this on advertising and I want to get immediate results. I want to experiment because you know that scaling up is how you scale up what you actually earn. Okay, so by putting on retargeting pixels, you know, whether it's Google, Facebook, you know, all these other ones that are now available for all the different platforms, you can stick them on your websites. And then essentially what happens is they just work in the background. And it's kind of like a cookie. It basically just tracks um, people that visit that site. They tr they track that site if they have um, like a social media account as well. So just they have a Facebook account and then they go on to a, that your website. The pixel knows that this person went on your website, and because they went on your website, we have an understanding that you know. They went to that website for a, for a reason. You know, they were interested by the headline. They were interested by the subject matter. You know, so we know that there's a little of interest. So there is the ability to send them advertising down the line because they're in a pool of people that might be interested in a certain style of product, okay? So you can do that with all of the different uh, platforms, but just have it there. Just always have it there in the background, okay? Whether you are intending to do it or not, because it just gives you options. As another thing that I would say, have options have options, you know, whether you're going to use them or not. Okay. The next thing is link tracking. Okay. So you want to know, you want to know specifically what is happening with your site. Okay. So you're going to have links that you're going to promote in certain different ways. You want to know specifically how many people at what time, where did they come from? Are you know, cause are they the right traffic? We know that you know, most likely that the uh, with affiliate marketing, sales are going to come from a number of locations, and they are predominantly the English-speaking countries. That's just the way it is when you're selling an English-speaking product. Now, obviously, if I was selling a a product that was in Spanish, for example, I would be able to target you know certain specific countries that have that demographic as Spanish as a key language. Okay, but obviously, if if your product that you're promoting is predominantly English, you want to send it to predominantly English speaking language countries that um, have money to spend. And we know that's America, UK, Australia, you know, these sorts of places, okay, Canada, for example, right? So you want to know that you're sending the right traffic to these places, because you know, whatever, whatever strategy you are using, okay, whatever strategy that might be, whether it's free, whether it's paid, if you if you mess up part of the targeting or it just say it is a free tra traffic strategy and it's basically very wide near, you might be whatever you're doing might only be attracting people that are not the real target market, the people that are going to convert. Okay, and if that's the case, you then need to make tweaks. You need to be able to learn, understand, grow, change, and adapt. Okay, so it's really really important to have that data. Now, obviously, you can you can do this in a couple of ways, and I would recommend obviously both of these strategies. Okay. First one is to use some form of link tracking, you know, link tracking on the actual offset of your site, the specific link. Okay, and you can do this paid and there's free tools here. So you know, there's uh, Click Magic, which is a very extensive tool. It provides loads of different services there. It's really really good. Or you can use something that's free like Bitly, which is really really simple, but it has basically no features apart from. Uh, telling you how many people have visited it overall. You can kind of see the times for the last month um, and you can see a basic demographic of the location. Okay, so it kind of serves its purpose uh, without being fantastic, okay? Um, so you've got that and then you've also got the other side is Google Analytics. So Google Analytics is again, like the retargeting thing where you can add a little bit of snippet of code onto your website and then it provides a whole range of information on what's happening on your website uh, globally, okay? So, you know, what pages were viewed, where did the traffic come from, you know, what backlinks people have sent you, you know, the what time of the day, you know, it's a very extensive, so it gives you that, again, it gives you that ability to analyze what is going on and make tweaks, okay? Because not every campaign is gonna be the same. Not every campaign is gonna attract the same type of people and there's gonna be certain people that you need to attract and with the information, it gives you those opportunities, okay? You know, it's really important to appreciate that. Okay, so that's kind of the um, 
the really important part of any campaign. It's having that page, it's getting the emails, it's sending the emails, it's having retargeting and it's being able to know exactly uh, where your traffic's coming from and who, who your traffic is, okay? Um, so that's really, really important part of the campaign. Obviously, the next part of the campaign is all about getting that traffic. And we know that is very, very difficult for a lot of people. It's something that people get very, very anxious about. Um, free and paid traffic tra strategies now on my channel. Uh, one of the previous videos I did was all about free traffic strategies. And we spoke, we spoke endlessly about the opportunities that, that, that are available and worth investigating. So I would recommend that people check out that video. Hopefully I'll remember to do the card. If I don't, you know, just check out the channel and you'll be able to check that out anyway. It's a very in-depth video talking about loads of different strategies that actually work for, you know, the man on the street. So that's really, really important. Now, when we talk about paid strategies, it can be a bit, um, you know, not everyone is comfortable about it because they're actually putting their own money on the table and, you know, a lot of the time, it's gone. It's immediately gone and they didn't get any success. So what I always, what I always like to say is that there is the opportunity to experiment with paid, paid advertising for free, okay? Now, what I would recommend is, first of all, is doing paid free strategies, doing some of those strategies that I recommend in that video um, because you're going to learn so many different things about what actually works, the terminology, you know, what makes, you know, the copywriting, you know, trying to understand these certain things. So when you move on to the page strategies, you know, you're not just, you know, throwing it into the sky and hoping that someone is going to be walking by your window and going to catch it essentially, right? So, but if you are at that point, what you can do is you can use Google Ads for free for a short period of time. So if you just go into Google and you search Google Ads coupon, you will find coupon codes to sign up for Google Ads and get, it's either like 75 or 100 uh, bucks, pounds, euros, whatever. And that's going to give you the opportunity to set up some campaigns for the next you know week or so. And it really gives you that understanding and that's going to give you the ability to learn the platform for free and hopefully you know you know using that hundred bucks you're going to be able to get one or two sales you get one or two sales and then you can reinvest that one or two sales into more ads and then you can scale and learn and grow and adapt and all those sorts of things that i've mentioned throughout this video so there we are we've got to this end of this video um i really hope that you got something from it i just wanted to really you know grind down and talk about you know you know clickbank campaigns and affiliate marketing campaigns and what um what's required because people try they always want to skip the line they always want to you know have someone else you know do it for them they want to you know do something without really putting any effort you really need to know the elements that are involved um before you can have any type of success and that is the way it is okay but once you've got it once you once you get these things into action you can you can get into a point where things are automated passive income all those sorts of good things that we like to hear um they will come okay so i hope you've had this like, like this video if you have thumbs up button hit the subscribe button so you can check out for the videos and as i say go to the comment section and tell me where you're from i really want to hear that um as soon as possible and we'll see you soon for another video there'll be plenty coming here and there uh, have a great day i'll see you soon